What's going on? It's your man, DJ Big Mike. It's your boy, R.O. It's your boy, TJ, the mayor. And this is Beyond the Tracks podcast. Your podcaster's favorite podcaster. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Yes, sir. The boys are back in time. Yes, sir. Boom, boom, boom. Bum, bum, bum. Does anybody know about Is that? that? How that yeah, go? No. I don't know, That's but what? in my head it went. Burr, 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 burr. The boys are back in town. I don't know, I'm, bro. I'm gonna have to Google that one. I don't know. YouTube is something I'm gonna. Have to, I, I should have just brought that one in. Yeah, that, on the board. I mean, I yeah, I'm sang a DJ, it, huh? and that didn't sound. No? I mean, the boys are back in time. You, you hit that. I mean, yo, falsetto, dope, love it. You like it? Yeah, I, but the bum bum bum. I don't know where. I don't know if that was it. But you that was my right. guitar. In my head, it sounded just like the oh, fucking that was guitar, your guitar riff, bro. Oh, okay. When it wrong, <laughs> when it wrong. However, I want to do it. In my right. head, it sounds exactly like the guitar. That's your shit, man. We back. We back, man. All yes, three sir. of us, gentlemen, gentlemen, and gentlemen, Miami, we are Miami. back in here. It's been a minute since building. we all been sitting down together. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. We're we're on our our new phase of our podcast where yeah, we. Man. uh where we come out every uh, every Monday yeah, man. with a pot pot, you know, yeah, to start man. the Let week them get off week right. right. Yeah, yeah, man. Let yeah. them know what we had jumping <laughs> off the weekend before. Yeah. yeah, we're doing something different. We're doing weekend, a late night yeah. pod pod on a Saturday night. This is yeah, we we haven't done a late night I in mean, a while. Since, this has since, been a while I, since we was, was back your, at, at your yeah, studio. Spot. Yeah, yeah, mm, studio eight minute. as we we should call it. Really, we never did a late night one here. I don't think so. Not that I can remember. Well, we here. We here. We here. Damn it. Right. We here, man. It's we nine, here. It's We're, nine fifteen right now. We ready to go. Yeah. Uh, before we even go any further, let's let's just kick off the sponsors, man. Sponsorships have been 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 really fucking dope lately, man. Everybody's yeah. just got things going on, and, and everybody, uh, everybody, man. Uh, Eight Mile Vodka. You know they're still riding high with the with the award. You know what I mean? The award the winning award, Eight Mile the Vodka. Awards. Plural. Awards. Yeah, we're going to have um, the plural. Yeah. Mikey Shoemaker, the Tommy Brothers, the Berkeley Brothers. Right. You know what I mean? Shout Everybody out. over there, 8 Mile Vodka. They family um, up. And I, you know what? I'm even going to throw Cal in there, man. I'm going to throw Cal in there from Partyville. Hey, Big Cal be having the dopest commercials, bro, for all <laughs> yes. liquors. But, Facts. man, he he puts it out there for, for 8 Mile, bro. Cal be – Cal – Hey. You know what? I, I, I talked to Mikey about this before, too. I said, hey, man, like – Kyle's commercials are dope. Like, I hope that he doesn't get too big to where he starts doing that as production. Because I love the cell phone <laughs> yeah. commercials. Like, yeah. I think it's just him talking that shit, man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Kyle over there at Partyville. Mm-hmm. Um, he's not a sponsor, but you know what? He's an honorary sponsor today. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah so shout out to you, Kyle. Because Kyle comes to events, man, has a good time and all Kyle that good stuff. Kyle's part of the team, though. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's part of the squad, though. He's, oh, yeah. He's yeah. a good dude. Just really great dude. Yeah. Really great dude. So shout out to 8 Mile Vodka. Also, we handle candles. As always, man, we, we keep the Fruit Loops. We keep the uh, Citronella joint up in here, man. So shout out to We Handle Candles. My boy Stelios over there. Stelios shout and out Kayla. Stelios. Yeah. They got some, uh, a new movie about to drop soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, a Nate Thompson film. Yes, sir. Yeah, they, shout they're, out. they've Soul been Reaper. filming. Uh, so August, August 20th. Yep, Jumping August 20th right here in Monroe. Let me see if I can get my acting chops on. I'm gonna have to highlight Nate. I, I tried. I tried to get in. I, I made it. I made it late. <laughs> they were right. They were filming right next door right, before right. one of our pods. Remember? Right, yeah. And yeah. I tried to get in. I walked in. There was real blood on the floor. Right. Real told, blood. Right, yeah. Right, I told that story yeah, on here. Yeah. There was real blood. It was wild. It was crazy. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to everybody over there, man. Shout out to Nate. Shout out to Stelios. Um, we handle candles. Shout out to Kayla. Brain jerk. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, man. Um, yeah, Mike, what you got for sponsorship? Man, as always, we got JC's Quality Construction. Everything from the Two by four to the key to the front door. Hit him up at 734-652-9715. Uh, tell him Beyond the Tracks podcast sent you. He will give you 15% off all materials. And uh, there's been a couple people, man, that uh, tested that theory. And uh, it happened for him. So, hey, shout out to y'all. Thanks for supporting uh, our brother, our uh, one of our very first sponsors. Once again, that's JC Quality Construction, 734-652-9715. Yes, sir. And then, of course, we got the man, <laughs> maybe the myth. I don't know. Not sure if he's a legend he yet. Won't, he won't be a myth much longer. I was going to say. He'll be he, here. He, he's coming um, soon. Yep, he'll be on the next so episode. That, yeah, so I don't know if we can call him the myth yet. I mean, yeah, we can call him the myth because he hasn't been on here yet. Yep. I don't know if we can call him a legend yet, but he's making strides. And that's my man, Lloyd what Cheatham. From uh, Cheat Designs, you can hit him up at www.cheat-designs.com. 
um, or you can hit them up at 734-681-0331. Mention Beyond the Tracks podcast, and he might hook you up with a little something-something extra. There you go. Definitely, definitely, man. Doesn't have an event coming up soon? Um, I believe the plan is still uh, August 13th at Monroe Nutrition. Uh, Yeah, shout out to Jeff and Steph over at Monroe Nutrition. I, did you see the picture? I, I got me a ziggity boom. I did. You got you a ziggity <laughs> booming today, <laughs> man. You got two ziggity booms. <laughs> well, the, 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 um, the BTT was for Dana. That's the only one she will rock. She said that's the only one she likes. The black cherry joint. Yeah, and I had to uh, check out the uh, peach, peach, sweet peach tea. Yep, that's their weekly special. Ring. And that... Motherfucker. Like the candy. It's like the, it's like the pe- yeah. you know them peach ring candies? Mm-hmm. Oh, it, and, yeah, it yeah. was dope. Yeah, I love it. No, it tastes just like the shit. I love it. No, so, no yeah. bullshit. So shout out to them. Um, we're still working on times. We're still working on different things uh, going on there. But I can tell you that I have seen some of the work that I'm going to call him Mr. Cheatham has worked on because he's he, he deserves that at this mystical, point. Mystical, mystical. And I'm telling you, people are going to have to come down to that. They are going to buy some stuff. He has some amazing, like things that I just look at and go, wow. Like, right. You did that? That's what's up. Like, that's dope. So he's been working, man. He's been working. Yeah. I just I just talked to him last night, man, and he's just he's just so excited, man. Here's the thing about about our brother Lloyd is that like you might you might follow him on social media, and that's cool. You know he'll post some stuff, and you don't you don't get the real Lloyd to be able to talk to him. You guys, the listeners and the viewership, you guys will get that next week. It's a whole different conversation when he's just having a conversation, man. Like, he's just so full of life and he loves what he do. That that He loves what he does. That's what you guys are going to see next yeah. week. Like, a man who really loves what he does. You know what I mean? Yes. He doesn't, on social media, it might not seem like that as much. You know, he'll put some yeah. stuff out. But when you have a conversation, it's so in-depth. Yeah. And just, you can you can feel his energy over the phone, you can yeah. feel it, man. Yeah, yeah. His his passion is is amazing. It's just it's it's incredible, and and he'll be able to tell his stories and tell his like where he where he came from, why he's doing what he's doing, that kind of stuff. When when we get him on the on the pod, but it's gonna be dope. Yeah, shout out, cheat designs, cheat designs, man. Hey, I need a, uh, I need some more stuff, bro. Right. Hit me up. He did hook me up with the. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna release it here soon. The. Uh, the big mic logo. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, seen, I seen okay. It. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. I saw it. Yeah. Oh, you seen it? <clears throat> yeah. You he seen it? One day. Yeah. He no, 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 no. That's the uh, Michael Xavier collection. He actually made me a logo. Bro, I don't know. He made, he made me a logo for, <laughs> for a big mic. It's, it's a little a little bit of tweaking, but okay. it's dope because he took the microphone from the old school Mad, Mad One, One Music Group. The Mad okay. One Music Group that's, logo. Yeah, I love crazy. that logo, that's, by the way. Man, that's yeah. my favorite. My second yeah. favorite logo. I I be trying to put that on everything. He wouldn't let yeah. me. That yeah. that might be. I, I'll let you. That, you, that might be my first. Video. But what he do? He t- he took the mic from from that. He, he took that and incorporated. He incorporated that into the Big Mike logo, and he used a font that we literally came up with. He he kind of took the font and tweaked the font that we he literally did when we were talking about a clothing line and totally focused entertainment and all this I stuff. I remember that back in the day. Like almost 15 years ago. Right, I remember that. So when I seen it, I was like, I, under, like, I understood his concept. Okay. I knew, like, I'm like, okay, you're throwing everything right. in there together. It's dope. Yeah. Man, he's uh, he's an artist, man. He's yeah, a true he artist. Um, and uh, I'm going to use him to segue in to a couple a couple recap moments since we've been on the pod. We, we kind of took a week off. Um, well, one of us have went on vacation, vacation, a but vacation, vacation. Uh, before that vacation. happened, man, we. Uh, so speaking of art, man, planting seeds. I, I can't, I can't talk about it enough, mm-hmm. man. Um, Woody Hoffer, uh, the founder of Planting Seeds, bringing so much beautiful uh, art to our city, man. Let me, uh, with, let, me with, go, let me go and give him one. Give yeah. him one. Yes, sir. <sighs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, don't! Oh, I got something for you here in a little bit. Once we get once Uh-oh. once once this tequila starts flowing, mm. oh, trust me, I got some on the board for you, my friend. Uh-oh. But um, yeah, man. So Woody and Stephanie, and I can't talk about these two enough because I mean they are the backbone behind a lot of these things that are going on. And we had a great event planting seeds, um, man. DJ Big Mike. Was on thing. the ones and twos for eight fucking hours. Insane. In the sun. In the sun. 
going through all the technical difficulties and making things work, man. And so uh, me out. and me yeah. and Woody had an extensive mm-hmm. conversation a couple of days after that, after we settled down, because it was a long, long weekend, and we had a conversation, man. And, and he yeah. was so ecstatic, and so many people that were behind that were so ecstatic that that went smoothly yeah. with Very the sound. Smooth. With Very we didn't nice. know rain was coming, right. and then all of a sudden nah. the rain wasn't coming. It was the heat we were worried about. It came off had to get some tents up there. Yeah. Um, the the, L, the LED screen, man, oh, that was dope. crazy, sweet. man. If y'all don't know it what I'm talking about, yeah, go uh, follow Planting Seeds on Instagram. It's at P L N T N G, right? P L N T N G. That's right. That's it? right. Yeah. Okay. P L N T G. S E E D S. So you'll put it on the screen. I'll put it on the screen. Why the <laughs> fuck am I trying to explain shit when I can just put it on the screen? But and, yeah. And if, and if you guys don't know, uh, hit me up and I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. Um, follow Planting Seeds and uh, follow. Um, I, follow. If you go to Beyond the Tracks podcast, we put uh, on our uh, at Beyond the Tracks podcast. We put all the information out anyway, but uh, but man, Tony Hooligan, uh, we got a chance to do the Q and A yeah. with some of the artists and uh, Tony Hooligan. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was was man I, I had so much fun chopping up with this dude because he's one of them you know a lot of these artists man they speak through art right. you know what i mean so they don't do a lot of talking they talk through their through their art but to get down to, to, be, to get a chance to sit down with them and and see where these thoughts come, came from where these murals and you know how it, how it formulated from their head mm-hmm. onto a canvas uh, tony hooligan did i mean he, he was awesome man uh yeah. wheezy was awesome um amy arnold was up there with us man she's monroe's very own amy arnold i've, I've been known amy for years and years yep. and years i don't even know how long maybe 15 years or so and um and Woody was up there with us and and yeah man we had a really good Q&A um and shout out to Backpack too he he was he wasn't able to be there but he did some amazing yeah. work too so yeah. yeah and and also um uh um Jacob Dwyer mm-hmm. uh yep. he wanted to be there really really bad um but he had a wedding already planned so he right. couldn't make it there uh but yeah man so it was just a, a really cool event man the food was great DJ's yeah. uh catering did a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. Um, everybody at the community center mm-hmm. did a phenomenal job pitching Absolutely. in and helping out. Man, that's a long day. You know, Absolutely. people like Anthony Hoskins, man, they was there for, from 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, till 5, 6 o'clock at night. Uh, Manuel Joe, uh, yeah. just so many different people. I mean, I, I can name a bunch of different people, man. They There's so many people that threw in a helping hand to make it just a great event. And, you know, for Deb Stalegrave and, uh, uh, you know, Mayor, you know, uh, I'm sorry, uh, councilwoman Deb Stillgrave, yes. Mayor Bob Clark, which I which I had to uh, which which I had to. Oh, my bad, did I, did I mess y'all up? Oh, we all good. Um, <laughs> I had I, I was on stage and I had to I had to make that clear to the people. You know what I mean? That uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm TJ the mayor, but the real mayor. <laughs> Give it up for the real mayor. Right. So don't hit me up with any of your problems was with, with the council. Yeah, oh, yeah. man, he kicked it for a good Part six of, hours, bro. He was oh, there yeah. for the length. Yeah, yeah, yeah also, he was there. Um, Councilwoman Kelly Vining. Kelly Vining, yeah, yeah, yeah she was there. Yeah. Uh, man, so I mean, just and um, uh, Alex Lucio. It was the first time I seen him perform. It's actually his first performance in Monroe. He did his thing. Yeah, he, did he his goes thing. by Andro Fades. Um, I'm gonna call him Alex Lucio because he's Monroe's very own, and we all know yeah. the Lucio family. Mm-hmm. And his dad, uh, his dad actually hit the stage for a, yeah. for a couple of joints. I, I, I told him, I said, "You coming out of retirement?" He goes, "Oh no, I'm 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 done, bro." He's just ha- he's having fun, what, and that's what, what it was about. Name? Miguel, Miguel, okay. it was yeah. Miguel Tomas. Uh, Miguel Tomas okay. was his stage yeah. name. Yeah, yep. Tom Lucio. Yeah, he. Yeah, um, I know Frank. I know Frank. That's Frankie Biggs. Yep, that's his Tom brother. His brother. Did they did they have a studio together? Yes, in Ohio, in, in Toledo. Yep. Yeah, okay, I remember him then. Yep. I remember him. Oh, shit, the yeah. roots has come to, oh, I, I, yeah, I yeah, then. from when back, back I, yeah. in the day, right? Yeah, I recorded with him before, yep. yep. Yeah, was, man, yeah, Miguel, was, Miguel came okay. up there when, um, when, when um, Top Shelf. Then. Right. Mm-hmm. Top Shelf did a performance, shout mm-hmm. out to Scotty Vining. Yes. Um, shout out to Rob, shout out to Lamar, shout out to Noah. Man, they jammed. Uh, yeah, Miguel yeah. came up there, did a couple songs. Mandela, Mandela Della. tore it down, as he always does. Mandela, man, come on, man. Mandela always tears it down. Uh, then, then we had a little bit of break. DJ Big Mike, you know, he did his thing on the ones and twos. Um, kids were playing in the splash pad. Things was going great. People getting to eat on all that good stuff. Um, then the second half of the show, after the Q and A, second half of the show. Now these are three dudes that um, that a lot of people that are not they're not from here, so a lot of people might not know who they were. Mm-hmm. And they were so dope, man. Like so, dope. so they start off with King Bethel, this young dude. He sings, man, and this dude's just full of energy, and he just, 
Uh, you, 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 he's just lovable. Right, like you see yeah, him and you're right. like, I, that, that's my little brother. Right off the bat, like that's my little brother. From I here tried, on out, that's my I little brother. Give him a cigarette. <laughs> on accident, yeah, bro. That was oh man. <laughs> was hey, let me tell you, wrong. <laughs> let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. So we sitting there and he was so mad. King Bethel was mad about this. I can see it in his face. <laughs> He said he was offended. He said, "Yeah." Oh, I remember you said that. I, I was I was standing right there when you said it. You said, me, him, and Big Mike were like, standing there. Yeah. Me and me and Bethel was talking. And I said, "Oh no, this is another another dude." I oh, was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go, yeah, go ahead, I said, bro. I said, uh, <clears throat> he's like, "Yeah, man, give me your socials." We were exchanging information. He mm-hmm. said, "Give me your socials." Mm-hmm. Big Mike just so happened to be pulling out a cigarette out of his pocket at the time, and mm-hmm. all he heard was, "Give me." No, I think he said. I think he said, which I realized later. Your Instagram. Yeah, he said, give me your Instagram. But, but what I heard was, give me a cigarette. Give me a cigarette. And I looked at him kind of crazy, because most singers don't like, smoke. What you need a cigarette right? for? And he's right. young. And so I'm like, Bro, he pulled right. out a cigarette. And I pulled out a cigarette and like, like went like this. And he, man, I, I offended a young brother. King Bethel was <laughs> like, are you I, serious? Hey, right. he was mad, too. He was like, are you serious? <laughs> right. And I was like, In front Mike, of my what, mama? What? He was right. like, <laughs> what? And I'm like. I Not think he off. asked for the Instagram, but right. we we had right. already seven. He was like, "Yeah, man!" Like he looked at, him, he was like, "Yeah, man!" I was like, "He." But King yeah. Bethel did a great job, man. Yeah. After him, man. next, I support you, brother. Love you. Next God, Nex God, man. Next God, fire is on another level, man. He he um he actually played ball at U of D when Woody was there. Yeah. Um, if if anybody doesn't know, what we're talking about man when we talk, when we refer to Woody. Woody Hoffer was on the show. He's a longtime friend of mine. He does a lot for the city. He's actually a, a, a alumni of University of Detroit Mercy, and that's how he knows a lot of these guys that that came down. But um, yeah, they, they were friends or whatever. And and he's like, wait till you hear next man. Next next has got it. He's he's got it. Okay. And next killed it. And then Paris Noel came up to end the show, man. And I ne- Rome. As as a former performer, mm-hmm. I was I, when I watch things live. I watch things as a performer. You know what I mean? Right. I, I I look at different things. Like yes, I do get caught up in the moment just in the music, but you know I got that that eye and that ear for some different shit. This dude has perfected how to perform. I'm talking about every syllable, every word being being and clear. He was- Spitting. Yeah. And spit and fight. He like he knows spit. how to how to handle a stage and a yeah, microphone. Like out. I haven't seen anybody and I'm talking about perfect bro. I've seen everybody from I've seen Jay-Z on the Blueprint 3 tour. Right. I've seen Jeezy on that right. tour. Like, I'm telling you, this guy is a seasoned vet and live performances. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out to Paris Noel, man. Facts. Man, he tore it down. Yeah. So that's that's the recap. Just got to give y'all that, man. We had a great time. Everybody that came out, thank y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for supporting the city because the city is really, really getting behind all these mural projects. Yeah, man. And let's and it's making our city beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, Mike, man, you, you you right after that, you just you just skipped town on us. Right. You know, you went up DJ to the Uper. Right. Uper went up to the UP. Where was you at, bro? Upper P. Man, we was we was way up there. We was literally at the tip. Uh, on the west side of the UP, uh, Houghton, Hancock, um, Copper City. Um, a lot of people, when you say Houghton, they think Houghton Lake. Uh, yeah. We were we were literally on Lake Superior. We were at the tip top, you know, about as high about as high in Michigan as you can get. So and it was Did dope, man. You eat some of that. You eat some of that white fish out there, bro. Because that's my shit, bro. White fish straight out of Lake Superior, bro. It right, doesn't. It's right. not never even frozen. It comes right to your plate. Shout out to. Damn, I'm gonna forget it. I want to say it was Houghton House, something House. JJ, shout out to JJ, the jet plane, took us there, man. We had, I had this white fish, bro, wrapped in bacon, with an orange glaze. Bruh. You doing it big, wrong, bro. You hear this right. shit? He I doing do, it I big, bro. This this dude, this dude with, took listen, the money. With some I wild he took the money. Hold on, with some wild mushroom risotto. Risotto. Bruh. Rome, he took Bruh. the money, bro. Bruh. He's grown. I'm he took you, the money. That was probably one of that was that was probably one of the best meals of my trip. Amazing. Um, What's up? Once again, I'm, I'm, I keep I'll shout out JJ all day, you know, because he 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 treated us right when we went up there. You know, this is our first time. He's been trying to get actually trying to get all of all us, of us. Yeah, he to go up there to his right. uh, lake house, man. Beautiful view, 
Um, man, really, honestly, like in, in that area, just beautiful people. It was crazy. Like everybody just waves to you. It's you know what I'm saying? Fucking Upper Peninsula. Right, right. <laughs> what worries do they Their right. biggest worry in life is getting that black bear out of their fucking yard right. in the morning. Bro, talking about that, like every morning, wake up, go out on the deck, lake view, literally not making this shit up. I'll show you video and pictures. A deer in the yard every morning. Like mm. they like they just live in JJ's yard. Right. Yeah. I'm like, bro, if you can't if you can't take <laughs> peace and just relax on this. Man, I mean, you look crazy. up and, 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 and eagles are landing in yeah, the trees. Eagles. Bro, not just eagles. Bald eagles. Bald eagles. Full grown seem like a hundred foot wingspan. Right. <laughs> I know it ain't mm-hmm. that big, but fucking pterodactyls. Right. Eagles. Just just chilling. Just That's chilling. Looking at you. Like, what up? What you gonna mm-hmm. do today? Get up and do something. That's what's up. And you know me, man, anytime I go on vacation like that, man, it's time for me to self reflect mm-hmm. and, and think about how I can how I can improve myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I, mean? yeah. Which, I don't but, care about yeah. nobody else. How can I improve me? Mm-hmm. And so yeah, that was dope. And then we turn around, we come back, go right into a wedding. Perfect. Brother Dev, downtown Dev was my talk right about hand. It, yeah. Talk about it, man. <laughs> I've been seeing the did pictures, bro. He was there, did hey, his thing. Hey, he got, he got totally focused. You know how they do the chain ceremony? <laughs> yeah. he, uh-huh. got, he got shirted. He got yeah. shirted? He got, yeah. he got, he got, got totally shirted. focused. My shirted. man, downtown you know, Dev. presenting with a shirt. Yeah, so yeah, that was dope. Yeah. So what y'all fellas do? You know? Man, fuck you, dog. <laughs> right. Man, it was hot, right. man. It's been hot for a whole week, bro. Oh, yeah. It was, we got it, a heat wave through this thing, man. It was hot up there, too, man. It was hot up there, too. But, you know, like, I mean, you could just go out to the lake and splash your face and kind of cooled you off a little bit. You know what, Rome? You know what? Okay, this motherfucker here. You know what it is, man? He's acting really city right now. He's growing up. He's acting really city right now. Like he, like, like he's from the concrete jungle and ain't, ain't never seen the outskirts before. He's real different right now. But yeah. I like it. Yeah. Because I, I, when I, the first time I seen him when he got back, or first time I talked to him when he got back, you can tell in conversation he was glowing. Yeah. yeah. And we all yeah. need that reset, Absolutely. man. It's important. Absolutely. It's important to have that reset, man. Rome, you have anything going on, man? I'm, I mean, man, I know we've been, been on a chilling, hiatus bro. for the last couple of weeks. I, all of us have kind of been like up and down with scheduling. I haven't ate no white fish wrapped, wrapped in bacon. <laughs> I'll tell you that. No, but did you get you some highlight chicken? <laughs> I just, man, I, you know, I, bro, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. <laughs> no, it's real talk. It's hey, funny he was thinking I, about that white you know fish. What? Like, I that haven't. sounds good, man, but it still ain't killing uh, uh, highlight chicken. It's funny because I haven't. I, I really haven't. And I was thinking a couple of days ago, I was like, you know what? I'm going to fry me some chicken, you know? But I haven't had fried chicken in a long time, but we got that air fryer now, so. I, you know, you know try, what, man? Trying to be a little more healthier, that's bro. Almost as, yeah. that's, that's almost as good, bro. No, you, yeah, close. and 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 we should be healthier. And I, I don't eat fried chicken a lot because of that. Because I just I know I know how much I love it. Right. Right. And once you here's the thing, I've never made fried chicken at my house. You told me. And the I only I gave, I gave you some one time. He was like, yeah. bro, I had fried chicken about six months. <laughs> no, man. And you know <laughs> you what? And I consciously was just like, it's just like anything, man. Like once you do it once. Yeah. Once I once I fry chicken at my house, I don't even have a fryer. I don't have a air, I don't have an air fryer. I don't have a fryer. I don't even have a pan to do f- frying fried in. Food. Okay, right. smart. And man. I do that purposely, right. man, smart because man. I love me some fried chicken. But mm-hmm. and we'll tell you this though: whenever D, right, <laughs> whenever she <laughs> makes fried we, chicken, we got a little. Right. We got we got a sister. You go ahead, <laughs> bro. She, she the way she does her batter, she batters it in hot sauce. So it, it yeah, she yeah. puts the hot sauce before you cook right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. That's the red hot. Yeah, that's serious. Yeah. But um, yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this: Is it bougie of me, man, that like in my older age, if I were to fry chicken, I would do it outside of my house? Not at all. No, not at all. Because not one all. thing about living mm-hmm. in an apartment for so many years, if I fried chicken, bro, yeah, when I lived in Ipsy, fried chicken. If I if I li- when I lived in Ipsy, if I fried chicken, it it, it seemed like my wardrobe smelled like fried chicken. <laughs> Everybody for four fried days. chicken. Everybody fried. No, am Absolutely. I tripping? No, yeah. you're not tripping. Bro, I and I, and I started. I'm conscious of it. Yeah. A couple, a few weeks ago, I did a. I wanted. To, I had bought some ribeye steaks and I wanted to do the uh, cast iron kind of way. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Do, I, I'll never do it again. It was delicious. But I'm telling you, my, bro, the whole house, upstairs, downstairs, everywhere, just smelled like mm-hmm. meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not like garlic, because I did a bunch of right. meat. Just meat. And I was just like, damn, like this is, this is kind of crazy. 
Yeah, we ain't doing that no more. Yeah. No, no. We I like I, done that. And my, my, my kitchen, you guys been in my kitchen, mm-hmm. man. I don't have the um overhanging, like the, right. what's it called, the fan or the, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. the exhaust. The yeah, exhaust your, your, your whole joint will be So busted. my whole kitchen, like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? My whole kitchen's going to smell <laughs> like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, I, maybe that's bougie. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's, 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 bougie. it's bougie, but it's not right. But you know what though? <laughs> if it? that helps me not eat fried chicken so much, mm-hmm. hey, more power to me. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. But I tell you what, I did do. What'd you do, bro? Oh, I got some Traeger. It's called Sweet and Heat Barbecue Sauce. So let me tell you, let me let me put y'all on a little something, something. You used to have to go to Home Depot. Or Ace Hardware to get Traeger products. Kroger now carries yes, they do. Really? Traeger products. I was gonna put you up on that. Oh, I went through Kroger. <laughs> Fucked yes. up my whole list. I was going through Kroger <laughs> to get some shit to make. Right, I was gonna make some Southwest, uh, the Southwest chicken recipe that I got that you do in the oven mm-hmm. with chicken breast. I seen that they had Traeger products. Immediately. <laughs> I buy a bag of signature pellets. Right. You know what I mean? You know what right. I'm talking about? Yep. It's got it's the hickory, cherry, and it's apple, a, I want to say. Yeah. Or, it's like the competition series. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I go to the Rome barbecue like, sauce the aisle. Fuck are y'all talking? And I, know, they got, I, got friend, I got friends who got... Who, <laughs> Look, so Rome I, like, I, I buy kinda, Kingsford. What you yeah, talking I about? I kind of know what's going on. <laughs> Bro, they had the sweet and heat. Uh-huh. So I'm going to fuck with that. Because shout out to Trappers, man, right down the street from my house, man. Shout out to Harrington's. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I love Trappers food. Uh, I'm a big fan of fucking Trappers. Big fan of Sam, Sandbar has a, um, a pizza oven now, too. I've seen that. <laughs> I might get that on my way home. <laughs> anyway, um, I love Trapp- Trappers has a, a, a sweet and hot sauce. I love I, you. You could you could put the frog legs in that and I'd eat frog legs like just because the sauce is that good. So anyway, I get this Traeger sweet and heat. And I do, um, I literally did about 100, 100 wings. No bullshit. Right. I had some. That's money. Bro, I had some people come over to the house to Especially go swimming. Now. And right. I, well, I had a bunch of shit in my deep freezer from Costco. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, if I'm going to thaw it, I'm thawing it all out. I'm, you know what I mean? I got people coming over. Right. Boom. Dog, I put that motherfucker, I, I, I put it in Caribbean jerk marinade and then smoked it. Ooh. And, and then, then, and then tossed it in sweetened heat. Wrong. Wrong. Yes, sir. If the almighty being <laughs> above, if the almighty being above came down and said, hey, you can't eat that. It's against life policy. Right. We're not going to get religious. It's, it's against life policy. You gonna I'd say, hey, man. Right. Hey. Take me now. Hey. Take, <laughs> take me now. <laughs> what they say, Jesus, take the wheel. Right, take me now. Hey, Rome, <laughs> I ate that joint, bro. Intel. <laughs> listen. Hey, listen. You talking about somebody that was in a coma? I didn't do nothing for a fucking day. For 24 hours, I didn't move. That's, that's you guys think you I'm know. joking. That's I didn't you know move for 24 up. hours. Yeah, you get that excited. But, bro, we, but you know, Even about telling the story. I see, I see the fire in me, his eyes. Me and about G some foodies, though, man. Bro. I'm a foodie, you too. Get, when you find foodie. something that's good, man, yeah. unexpectedly, yes. that's that simple. Right. You got to talk about it. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I tell you all a secret? Uh oh. Can I tell y'all a secret? Yeah. Okay. You just asked him today? <laughs> I bought a 25 pound brisket today. Dang. Uh oh. What you gonna do with a 25 pound brisket, my guy? Eat. 25 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> listen, Dana was like, Dana's never, she's, she's ate brisket. She's seen brisket after it's already cut up. Mm hmm. She didn't realize how big a whole brisket, brisket was. So I bring it home. I set it on the counter. <laughs> yeah, the Shout out to Dana. I love you, babe. <laughs> you said, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Bruh, she did. She was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what did you kill? <laughs> and she's like, what? This is a brisket? And I'm like, yeah, babe. She was like, oh, my God. What are we going to do with this? I said, we're going to eat it. And yeah, I said, eat that. And shit. listen, let's be real. I said, I'll give some to T. Right. I'll give some to Ron. I'll give some to D. And whoever, Richard, James, with a brisket, pounds, you could be yeah. Oprah with 20, that right, motherfucker. You pounds. get a brisket. You get a brisket. Everybody gets a brisket. And guess who's cooking brisket tonight where I'm going to be dipping out oh and, uh, oh when Lord. I leave here. Oh, Lord. He's starting early. Huh? Wait a minute. Dirty. He's starting early. Wait a minute. Dirty's, Dirty's oh, cooking right. brisket yeah, tonight? Oh, that's a brisket oh, king. Oh, right now. That's a brisket king. <laughs> he the brisket king. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Um, 
So that's been a, another episode of the Other Tracks Podcast. Uh, facts, <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in. Facts, <laughs> facts. But I'm also, man. I'm also saying all that to say, man, uh, it's something that, and I'm, I'll put it out. I'll put it on the air because then that holds me accountable. Um, I want to have a like family barbecue soon with us, our families. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. Invite a few few other of the f- uh, friends of the podcast over. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, just I'm to, with that. Uh, that'd be dope. Just to just just to chop it up yeah. and, and have a good that. time. That'd be dope. I'm definitely with that, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm definitely with that because I've been I've been. Uh, and we some you, barbecuing you, folk. Yeah, we, exactly. We, we some cookout yeah. cookout we, eating. Cook, you know your sister had a cookout. Yeah. Those, yeah. The same day as Saturday. planting seeds. <laughs> right. No, no one, no, no one that I'm gigging. We some cook. Right. Your brother's gigging. My right. nephew, my she, nephew was like, "Hey, um, I mean, it's just straight reason. like, like literally was like, I have the mic in my hand. I'm about to go on stage." He goes, "Hey, um, you coming over to the crib? Right. Mom's cooking." And right. I'm like, "Right." I had forgot right. what the, who right. I was even bringing up to perform. I forgot everything. Like, oh, this Bruh. motherfucker and our, here. Our sister, D, I love you. She is so hood. I was like, I said, well. You know, babe. You know that's that's the day we're doing the planting thing, seeds thing. We're gonna be going all day. She was like, "Okay, like, <laughs> King of butt. like, okay." You, what you they gotta do with me? You will catch her next time, then. right? <laughs> what they gotta do with me? Because I'm getting ready to celebrate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't even know what the hell she was celebrating. Life, life. I, I love Saturday. it. it was a weekend. You know what? Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. There is no better barbecue or celebration. Than just celebrating life. Yeah. Facts, facts. Yeah. And I'm not trying facts. to get all deep right now, but but that was a. I, me and her was talking a couple of days later, and I, we I was talking shit, and I'm like, damn, you know, blah blah blah. And she was like, yeah, that's all cool and everything. Y'all had a gig and everything, and I get that, and I, and I love it, and I was supposed to go, but the kids went, so that's fine. She was right. like, but mm-hmm. life, you know. And I just thought about it for a second, like, man, that's when the fuck you celebrate. Yeah, facts. that is we 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 we. As people, as human beings, sometimes what we do is we have to have a reason, and we never. The life right. moves so fast now yeah. that we think that we have to have a reason to do this and a reason to do that. We all, fast. but when you when you're when you're self aware enough to just go, I'm celebrating because I I I'm breathing. Right. Yeah, and I'll tell you something. Like yeah, that's being, that's 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 deep. Yeah, and being on this 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 vacation, this kind of hiatus, this whatever you want to call it. Like something I thought about the whole time I was there is Mike, you talk too much. You don't, you don't do enough, right? You talk, you, you got great plans. You got great. And I thought that's it. Mm -hmm. Everything I think in my head, I'm going to figure out a way to work it out. I might put it on a scale of 99 of a hundred. I don't have to, I'm just going to do it at 20, but I'm going to do it. And I don't care what it is. And it's it's like little things like that. Like you said, just having family over to the house or going to visit family. Mm-hmm. Or you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like you said, just celebrating life. Yeah. There's there's no reason reason. Right. It's just, you know what? Motherfucker, I woke up. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? And this summer say, if this summer ain't showed us enough. Yeah, I used to say that. All this time. summer showed us I woke hey, up. not everybody does that. Right. Mm-hmm. I woke up, what are you gonna do? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So And well, I, I wouldn't think it I yeah. wouldn't take it as uh, you talk too much. Sometimes when you when you vocalize wh- whatever it is you want or whatever it is you plan to do, you actually give it that creative power because you mm-hmm. didn't put it out there true, in the universe. True, you true. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I don't want you to feel like you know I talk too much. But I, yeah, I just want to act on it. No, but you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with saying you know this is what I'm gonna do. This is how I'm gonna do it. You know. I want to act yeah. on it. Right. I want to act on it. You right. know what happens sometimes though? On the opposite side of that, sometimes you you do put it in the universe or you you let it come out verbally, and it's almost like it comes out of you. Right, you're not honing it because you have gotten it out of you, and then all of a sudden it escapes you. Right. right. Well, I so said you it. don't act right. on it. I right. said it. Yeah. And now since I said it, yeah, you you rely too much right. on it to come to fruition. Yeah. Right. So I think that you know it's a good self, balance. Self exactly. accountability. That's it. My, it's just my, a good balance. Is my word mm-hmm. of of the I like that. time. Can you say self. soliloquy though? Soliloquy. Mm-hmm. I literally said it on stage. <laughs> Nobody did. caught it. You did. I caught it. <laughs> did you catch it? I caught it, yeah. That's what I you didn't I did, catch it. I, uh, I looked at you. I don't think you caught it. You I were probably not. trying to deal with, with, you know, DJ and shit, but I said soliloquy, and it was it came out perfectly. Came out perfect. By the way, man, uh, everything came out fucking perfect on those speakers, bro. Yeah, everything. It was, uh, was it not it clear, crystal clear? It was crystal, bro. Yeah. Even, even when I looked at the footage from my phone, 
it was it, it was clear. banging. I'm like, yeah, I yeah. seen some stuff from AJ. I'm like, dang, this sound good. A couple other people, uh, yeah, uh, over the phone. Bro, on that yeah. screen in the background. Anyway, uh, let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. And I know that you know. I just said I was you know get, got a little deep. Shout out to shit gets deep podcast. I got a little deep talking about you don't need to have you, you can you, you just celebrate yourself and mm-hmm. life and it doesn't need to be something. But I ain't going to lie to y'all. I, I, I'm waiting for somebody just to celebrate anything because I can't wait to pull out my fucking my, my cornhole boards, bro. <laughs> because my, my... I just bought some. Did oh, you? Oh, bro. And I'm you getting know, ready to You see my it. custom joints. Oh, Lord. Yeah, TJ got the, got the, jo- got the I joints. I got the custom. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm not, t- I'm not telling y'all shit. I'm not going to bust out with it. Listen, like oh. school clothes. When, when I bust out with him, do 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 do. You going to go. <laughs> hey, oh, you going to go. Oh shit. He just going to bust up in the motherfucker <laughs> and go the upper room. You're right. When G, you know they be singing about the upper I'll room. I'll tell you this. They are so custom. Your face on them. That I no, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not that eager. If your belly button's the hole, bro, <laughs> I'm out. So. If your belly button's the hole, I am bro, leaving. I didn't think about that. That could be fat. You know Literally. what? Literally, silly. No, um, but I will tell you this: they are so custom that I will guarantee you that nobody in the world has them. Nobody has mine. Mm. Nobody has mine. Mm. I think I've seen you. But but I don't want to get confused. But I think I've seen yours. But I, I, I could be wrong. Oh, they're Michigan. Oh, yeah, Michigan. I was saying, is, is yeah. Michigan, Michigan State? No, they're no, no. no those are dirty. Dirties whoa. is Michigan, Michigan State. No, mine are yeah, Michigan and Michigan. Okay, yeah, okay. Yours mine are Michigan. Michigan. Okay, okay. fucking Michigan. Michigan. Okay, right, yeah, don't right, blaspheme. Right. Okay, my mine bad, are my bad. You, hey, bro, my bro. Bad. Michigan. <laughs> listen, and right. Michigan. Michigan. Okay. Do you see that man? Mine right. are. Right. Do you see that man? Right. To, it literally right. says on right. there. Hail <laughs> to the victors, Belgian. Hail to the concrete. I don't need to sing the whole motherfucking song. I think I've seen yours. Hey, just know, just know, just know. When I whoop that ass. I'm not you just go holder. the upper room. Right. <laughs> and Mike, as my motherfucking partner last time, we was at Dirty's. Right. God damn, bro. I don't, how many eight miles did you have that day? Because you was fucking sucking. Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> you I'm had too many. Huh? I'm better. Okay, well. I'm better. All right. I'm better. I'll be chilling, yeah. bro. <laughs> but, bro, you, be you said Michigan, Michigan State to this man. Did you see yeah, this man's my hat? My bad. Yeah, I mean, do you know what he's right. really a part of? Like, do, like, do you have one of those hats? I don't, I don't have one of those hats. I don't. I've I mean, only seen three special. people. I've only seen three people, or actually four people, because I've seen a picture. They, um, but I only know, right. know two people personally. You guys can get this hat. at tricktricksmerch.com yeah, or dot .org. I don't even know what dot it is. Dot .net. It could be whatever. But you can get this at tricktricksmerch. Whatever it is. Just look up Trick Tricks Merch. I got this as a birthday present from my boy Mikey Shoe. The fuck's going on over there? <laughs> I was yeah, showing, man. I was showing Ron some porn. Show me that. No, food motherfucker, don't porn. listen. Listen, po- food, listen. Food, porn. food porn. Listen, listen. <laughs> don't be. Listen, we're trying to have a podcast tonight. I know. Don't be. We, no, ready. he's gonna run out the fucking door. Next <laughs> thing you know, it's gonna be me left here. You guys, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna be sitting here, and then y'all gonna fucking be sending me pictures, bro. Listen, from <laughs> from <laughs> cor- cornhole boards and fucking beef brisket <laughs> over there at Dirty's house, man. I love Dirty, man. But goddamn, Dirty, That's can it, we get man. a pot in tonight? <laughs> we haven't potted together in like two weeks. <laughs> Damn, right. dirty. And that's right. it, dirty. Shit, you ain't been dirty. here in three. He they the, they, they the send them pictures. Porn, like, <laughs> like, 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 bro, he's basically saying without saying, wrap it up. Right. Let's he's sending pictures. <laughs> so so what you're saying is we're not getting dirty to come down here to get on the pie tonight with a di- with no, dirty talk? He, yeah, he, dirty's already, dirty's already dirty. It was a yeah. Saturday. Yeah, he's probably feeling good. Yeah. You know what, man? So with this hat, too, man, is it, uh, uh, shout out to Trick, man, because Trick is, it, it really does so much for the community. Yeah. Uh, when he did uh, the thing on Belal, it was my birthday weekend and his birthday weekend. It was everybody's birthday weekend that weekend. There was like fucking, there was like 10 birthdays that weekend, it's bro. It's just not cancer. Come on, man. Come on. You better ask Killer. Killer more killing killer for Killer Killer. Oh, shit. Fucking, we're 626. Uh, so I almost went into a lyric. I almost went into a lyric. <laughs> but yeah, we're cancers. But man, he had the, he does the health thing every year. Um, where he promotes health, I'm Bell Isle. He does his picnic, this barbecue, and it's all health foods. Uh, I forget, I forget the the people that sponsor it every year. Um, but you know, and I'm not a vegan, and I'm not, you know what I mean. But like, uh, I will say this, man. The way that I seen this dude get down on stage at fi- at his fiftieth, as you said, at his fiftieth, yeah. I was like, if that's what the fuck that shit's doing. Hey man, I I might get me together. I might somehow every once in a while. I'm I'm just saying I might <laughs> give me dibble dabble. Yeah, 
I was just watching your boy Downtown Dev, man, over at Misty's um, uh, uh, Misty's Plant Based Food, yeah. and and Misty's so awesome and stuff, and it's so ironic because, you know, you got Misty's Plant Based Food, but they're the Fanotas. They also own Monroe Original Hot Dog. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. On the exact different end of the spectrum right, when it right. comes to food. But man, some of that stuff looks so good. Um, yeah, Dev just shot a couple commercials, man. Shout out to Development Group and, mm-hmm. and him and Pete and uh, Justin and, and Justin, me and Justin are chopping up. Justin's going to come up yeah. here. But, uh, oh, they got a new guy, Mike. Um, yeah. Have you seen his, have you seen their update? Yeah. They do a, a, a update now every week? We yeah, man. It's them. fucking fly. Yeah. It's fucking fly. And I hounded him. I, I say it right here on air. I don't give a fuck. I hounded Dev about about another uh, episode of uh, ruining a classic with mm. uh, with Welly and Pete. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's it's I know I know you know Pete with the baby and everything mm-hmm. and Welly with his schedule, but Welly's off his hockey schedule right now, and I'm just like, man, if we can get Pete, Hell just yeah. for like a couple hours, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get him Shout down. Get him down group, here, man. man. They can do it right here. So sure can. Right here. Yeah. I have listen. I have like five favorite, po- six favorite podcasts now. Mm. Shit gets deep. Facts. Lunatic Radio. Mm-hmm. Facts. Brain Jerk. Mm-hmm. Facts. Drink Champs. Yep. And man, I have been going back to like ruining a classic from like years ago before before yeah. I even knew Pete <laughs> and watched them. Yeah. Like old, old, when they were just at his crib. And I'm like, man, this is great stuff. Yeah. I'm watching shit from two years ago like it happened yesterday. I love it. I fucking mm-hmm. love it. I just watched something the other day. I went back and it was like, I think Welly was at his crib and like, they woke him up. He ain't had no shirt on. <laughs> Grill, was that was shot. Grilling with Welly. Grilling, grilling with, with Welly. Welly. There yeah. you go. I was yeah. dying. Pete tells him, <laughs> Pete, throw, <laughs> Pete, Pete says, and put on a shirt. It's a fucking family show. <laughs> oh my God, yes. man. I love yeah. Grilling with Welly, man. Yeah. Shout out to Welly, yeah. man. So, yeah. Throwbacks. Bring it, bring it back, fellas. Bring it back, bring it, bring it back. Hey, does anybody know what the fuck we're talking about today? Um, shit. Oh, yeah, we're just shit talking. Okay, on. we'll just keep shit talking. That we don't. Speaking about shit that's going on, I don't, I don't know happened? if you know. I do. But uh, coming up here real close, real quick. What, Wakanda Forever? Nelly. Mm. Monroe oh, Fairgrounds. I thought about that today. Air Force One. I thought about that today. I ain't bought none yet. Me to per. <laughs> I got some hey dudes. Though. Hey, you know what? Hey, <laughs> uh, hey uh, um, speaking I'm, of I'm that, and we were just talking about Dev, um, Chumps that I was telling you about, um, I, I know his wife, um, That the dude that does custom shoes, They he just did a Misty's Plant Based Food and um, our development group and, and Monroe's Original Hot Dog uh, sneakers. Um, what were they? Uh, Chuck Taylors. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me Air Force Ones. I was like, no, and, no, no, no. And, and that's why that's why I've been wanting to do these these Air Force Ones because I'm too scared to do them myself. Right. I, like I, I have I have all the Angelus paint. I, I, I've done that before, but like I'm just I'm like after seeing Chump Chumps Customs do yeah. their things, I'm like, man, I'm not. And Lloyd I just did some Lloyd cool shit. He, yeah. Lloyd be uh, hooking some. Uh, yeah. Well, when I was in Arizona, too. I would do shit. I would make shoes. I would make color waves. I remember. But I, I wouldn't. I seen your Christmas colorway. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> different. But but I, I but my color waves would be like, just like basic color waves for different shit. Like I'd buy an all white pair of shoes, and we we had you know cardinal tickets, a cardinal tailgate bus, all this stuff. So I made cardinal colored right uh, Air Maxes, right. But not like custom with logos Logo, and shit like that. And yeah. I'm too scared to do a BTT one. And I really want Chumps to do one, man. And I know that it would probably be crunch time to try to get them before the Nelly concert. Yeah, but it's a couple weeks. But you know what? Nobody's going to be looking at my shoes, man. Cause nope. I'm, they're going to be looking at me because I'm going to be on stage, bro. All right. Well, that's why they're I'm doing be, a verse. That's I why they're going to be looking at your shoes because when you're on stage, you hold them motherfuckers up. No, this is not Run DMC in Detroit in fucking it, 1984. But it can be. It can be. No, it's going to be a good time. I'm going to go I, I'm going to go Vladimir Cumano style and take my shoes off. On stage, okay. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Vladimir is uh, uh, a guy that I, I've, I've met a couple times, man. Cumano, this, he's a Dominican brother, man. He d- does comedy. Um, it's a friend of me and me and Kieran's uh, okay. and, and Chris Italia. I was gonna say TJ just took us way over here. Yeah, sorry, but but no, no. <laughs> I, I, I seen this. I seen this dude perform. No, 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 no. This dude, this dude took his shoes off. <laughs> he took his shoes off the stage, and like sometimes that's his thing. He just takes his shoes off. He's like, I'm gonna get comfortable. Like I'm, I'm up okay. here on stage. 
And and I mean I mean I was just thinking I'm I'm trying to grab different you know things from different places on how I'm going to perform at this Nelly concert. You know what I mean? He's and I set. might just take sh- the shoes. Off. I might just throw my Air Force Ones in the crowd. You know what I mean? I'm still gonna have the Band-Aid on. Don't get it, don't With get it twisted. Band-Aid. I'll still have the Band-Aid on, bro. That's what's up. And an old school do rag. I don't I know how I'm gonna do it yet. Know. With his hair on my head, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do old school do rag, Rome. I'm be landing. Rome, are you gonna? Me. I got I got a question. Are you gonna claim me? Are you gonna claim yeah, me? Yeah, you're my man. No, 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 I mean, really. I rock with you. For sure. No, when you see me on stage like this, when you see me walk in like this. They already know. Oh, that's Roman and boy. Well, TJ already know how I'm going to act. Especially if I get him on stage, I'm going to beat the hell out of him. (laughs) Like I did at Tyrese's show. That's my brother. That's my. I had. (laughs) Bro, I pissed pissed blood. (laughs) I did hit him with some Rome, where was you? (laughs) Rome had on a bulletproof. stage uh, next to you. Rome had on a bulletproof jacket that day. Yeah. He had the tan, the Tyrese had, joint? You had a tan leather the, joint, the bro, that I swear. Boy, it was, I remember I, that. Ah, that one at the Tyrese yes, joint. Yes, it was. Like, nah. Yes, it was. I got pictures to prove no, it, bro. With a white tee. No, yes, it was. I got pictures to prove that it. Was, uh, that was at the River Raisin joint. No, down it, here. Yeah, no, it, was. it wasn't, bro. Bro, it was. It was at the River Raisin. It was I, the Yang Yang joint, bro. I know for a fact. I know... That joint okay. you're talking about, I, it was it was summertime. Remember, it was summertime. Yeah, and you still Remember? wore it on stage. Mark I had a jacket had, too. Black Mark and them came with us. Yeah. So think about it. It's summertime. I had on a white tee, and then I had on a uh, like a, a Nike. Uh, it was it was like not vinyl, but you know that mm. sh- sh- you know that kind Rome, of sweat Rome, material. Rome, 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 <laughs> yeah, Rome. Yeah, it was Rome, Rome. Want me to show you? Exactly. What, yeah. Want me to show you? I'll show you right now. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah. You guys bro. keep talking. I'm going to show you. That's the yin yang. I remember what I had on that that day because I had the custom uh, never say never combo totally focused. I had logo. on one of those too. But yes, I, I had on. I had on. Yes, nah, bro. Yeah, I'm about to show totally you. Focus with the and never a, say never. And the never say no. Remember? With airbrushed. Yes, okay, bro. Okay. We rock up. All right. Yes. So y'all ready for this? Because this Thank I, you. I got. That's I got it in pictures me. right here. This is Rome on stage. Was I with you? No. This is it right here. That's from the Yin Yang Twins. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that is kind of. I mean, no, I mean no, not Yin Yang no, Twins. No, this no, is from that's, Tyrese. That's Tyrese. Yeah, that's not leather, bro. Look at that. That's not leather. Look at that. No, nah, that's a Nike. Bro, that's, that's fucking a, that, leather, that, bro. No, that's a, that's a windbreaker. That's a Nike windbreaker, my God. It was summertime. Man, that shit it was, it that was, was, was shit. Well, I had on a jacket. You had a Nike, no, you you had a Nike about leather windbreaker on. <laughs> for the Tyrese joint, I had on a, a, a leather joint. Yeah, I don't, I don't hey, know. No, you had something whole, totally different with the Tyrese. Yeah. We ain't talking about that. Yeah, no, that was the... Uh, Whatever yeah. it was, I know it was bulletproof. We no, was in Toledo. Tyrese. In the Tyrese. Tyrese, he has... had yeah, yeah. It, he had bulletproof something on. I know that. Man, here you go. <laughs> Pac, Pac was in nah, the house. We was, we was Pac fret. was nah, in the that, house. Yeah, that, that, that was. Uh, I don't give a damn if it was hot or not. That nigga was hot. And that was in July. <laughs> that, remember? Yeah. Yeah, that was. Hey, so I know hey, I ain't had no other room, bro. This is how crazy shit used to be, man. Yeah, this is how crazy shit used to be. We didn't give a fuck of what fucking time of the year it was. It was a trend. Remember when the trend was to have the, the jacket with the hood? But with a bunch of like symbols on it mm-hmm. everywhere, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Do y'all remember that mm-hmm. phase? Mm-hmm. Yep. So of course I had to wear the joint. I had on Timberlands, bro. Who the fuck wears Timberlands in fucking July? <laughs> the New York nigga. <laughs> <Right. laughs> not a New Jim York. Jones. Not a New York cat at all, right? Right. I had on Timbos, bro. Timbos. In the jacket. Uh, actually. We went to a Burlington, or not Burlington, we went to a Gibraltar Trade Center. Gibraltar when you got your shirts Trade made, yeah. I went and bought that jacket, as yeah. a matter of fact. It had, like, diamonds and shit on it. Was that, what, was that the show? You, we, talk, we talking about the same show? Tyrese. Tyrese. Yes. I remember that. Yeah. yeah Shannon, I remember gave, that. Shannon gave me his rose gold joints. Yeah, yep. I remember that. Yep. Yes. I remember that. I had rose gold all over me. <laughs> yep. I remember that. I, that's a couple Rome pictures I got a, when Rome. we was on stage together. That's why I'm like... Why Rome, do you think I had Rome on the leather? Rome was bulletproof. Nah, I had on the white tee. You I'm had tell, on the white tee. I'm going to tell you. No, I by the end of it, we all had on white tees. We, had, we both had tees. Matter of fact, Bricks was the hype man at the time. He, he, he wasn't, he wasn't rapping was rapping yet yeah. with us. And he had on the half shirt. Right. Because right. on some yeah. Nelly shit. Yeah. Yes. It was a totally focused shirt, though. Yeah. The yes. Yeah. 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 And, I, and, I, and, I, and, and for the, uh, for the, uh, the last verse of um, One More Step, which was I jumped which, into the crowd, which was a classic or not to the crowd. Before I jumped time. on the, the speaker, the little the stand thing. Mm-hmm. I remember. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I can be by the crowd. I remember. And went crazy. I broke hey, his y'all, back. I went fucking crazy. <laughs> He's the, living the and this style. dude behind me, Big Mike's behind me, hey. hitting me. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not hitting. Not hitting. No, abusing me. 
Yeah. Abuse. For the record, it was, was abuse. Bro, I was just trying to hype you up. Cause you but how can enough. you rap when somebody's hitting your kidneys, bro? <laughs> Knocking the wind out of you. Good thing we had ad lib tracks. Good thing we had you oh, on the man, mic I behind if us. Anybody's got any video from that? Nobody Some, has video, man. To. Somebody got to. Yeah, they, you know who does? I got a little bit, but it was something. I ain't even. Want you to know say who does? Uh, Tyrese's people, but they won't release it, <laughs> right? Because they're mad at us, right? And I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Fuck them. Fuck them. You know what? It's gonna be somebody Matter out fact, the blue. Why? It'd be like Leanne, that like your Co- cousin Leanne. Right. She had that, it. That that Coca Cola commercial wasn't Tenery. that fucking cool anyway. Tenery, right. <laughs> fuck. Right. His, I like Tyrese, but fuck his crew. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he's lucky that he didn't get robbed for that motherfucking chain that night. That's bro. What, that's that's when that's that's one of the first times Brother Brown came out. Of you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, when he had I to get that. fucking yeah. chippy. Yeah, I was when he had to go though. to the office. Yeah. <laughs> he was manager. Yeah, when he had to, when he yeah. had to put on his big boy pants and yeah. go to the office, man, and yeah. say you got to, he, hey, he hit him with a uh, he hit him with the with the motherfucking uh, uh, what's his name from Public Enemy uh, with the clock Flavor Flav. Oh, Flav. He hit him with the Flavor Flav. He said you got to pay me, boy, <laughs> right now, <laughs> right oh, now. Shit. I ain't seen a look at that money. Yeah. Man, it was good back time. then, good money, times, back bro. then it wasn't about really, it really wasn't about the money. It was no. just about us. Rocking. No, it was fuck about us no, we were superstars, out. and we were, yeah. that's, that was good enough for us. We just I was on the run, bro. Good time. I was on the run at that time. We almost didn't make it to that concert. Yeah, I was riding with Ham. Right, remember when the Ham had the green Cadillac, the yep. two door joint? I remember. <laughs> I was riding with Ham. I do. And we was we had like fucking we were like 10, 11 Ooh. cars deep. You remember we all left from the, from from yeah, your spot mm-hmm. because uh, remember we had to convince Killer. Killer was gonna back out. Remember we had to convince Killer to go I home and get dressed. Killer has almost kinda, backed out of every single. He show. He turned up though. Every single show, yes, he turned up. Turned up. But they, they one, of, in, one of them was missing it. though because it wasn't the whole dream no, team. No, no, no. That's because Zoe was already down in Georgia. Yeah. Right. Zoe wasn't there. It was, so yeah. Shell and, and it was just Shell and Killer. Yeah. And Killer before was like, I mean, are we really going? We remember we was in Ham's kitchen. I'm like, bro. We're about, the, the caravan's about to leave, so we're eleven deep. We're the last car, and and we turned up. That you day. know how it goes. <laughs> eleven Killa- cars full of Negroes <laughs> going down seventy five. <laughs> of course, the Monroe Post pulls out, and, and we got followed by the state police yeah. until we hit the border. And I was like, "Damn, man, my first fucking show, and I'm not gonna fucking make <laughs> it." I was so mad. I was in Ham's car, and I'm telling I Ham, "No, nah, man, fuck the caravan, slow down." I remember that. Said, "No, nah, man, we good." I said, "No, no, no." We'll get there. We'll all get there. You right. don't have to. We don't have to show up. Like, like Ham's thinking, he wanted to show up eleven cars deep like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, man, fuck them up there. Right. I got to perform. Right. Tonight. We scraped. We turned yeah. up that night too. We had a great, great. Man, night. we turned up that, that day. A, we got there eighteen night. hours early for I was mic say, check because we, yeah, we had we to were, mic check. I got drunk five times that day. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. I don't, did I even drink that day? I don't remember drinking. Everybody drank. Remember we had right. mic check. I had a whole bottle of Patron with the Yin Yang Twins DJ. At um, the River, the River Raisins. Raisins in yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we yeah. had Mike check, and, yeah. and they weren't there, but it was D, his DJ was there, and he yeah. was letting us go, and he started cutting. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that bro, his DJ's times. out the fucking day. Yeah, Twins good DJ times. is one of the best yeah. DJs live I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Those those with the good, vinyl. Good times. Yeah. Yeah. With the vinyl? Yeah, bro, that man. motherfucker tore it up. Yeah, man. He wasn't worried about shit skipping <laughs> in. Fuck that. I got this. You know what, yeah. man? Think about back at all this different shit. Like, my, the most fun to me, and I love, I, being on stage to me, man, was the dopest shit because I black out. You know what I mean? But the behind the scenes shit that nobody sees is the funnest oh, fucking right. part. Oh, if right. people could just, if we would have been conscious enough back then to have a, a yep. camera crew, a videographer or I'm something. Sure, I'm sure we, somebody did. I mean, I bricks battling in the basement yep. of I the old remember. Bijou. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Before we go on stage or after we get, got off stage. Yep. Um, mom. Mom yeah. was the best momager yeah. ever, yeah. bro. Yeah. Sure I came was. on stage. Yeah. We did our little meeting in the yeah. corner. Yeah. When I came, she literally had a Hennessy and Coke, yep. a cigarette yeah. and lighter yeah. and yeah. ashtray, because that's where you can smoke in bars, right. yes. and two females yeah. sitting there. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 hand to God, I'm yeah, a mother's eyes. I, I swear to yes. God. I was like, oh, my God, you're the best momager. And my <laughs> cell phone with their numbers already in it. I was like, what? What? Hey, well, if this, if like this is what showbiz is, yeah. sign me the fuck up. That was my first show, Rome. That was my first show. Turned yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Turned I should have never I fucking that. had my brother as my manager. Are you kidding me? Never. I remember that. I never. love you. I should have never had him never. as my manager. Yeah. I should have had my mom this whole time. Right. I should have. Uh, you know what? It should have been de- like like Deb and Waka. 
Should have been. Man, let's do Me and Robino. I got him drunk, let's though. This dude was the owner, the <laughs> manager, the producer. <laughs> he wrote half the rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> like I got eighteen, cook. I got eighteen points on your he was record. The cook, he was <laughs> the janitor. I was eighteen points on your record. Out of twenty points, you got eighteen points. <laughs> Damn, man, man, don't do me like that. I ain't man. seen a, I ain't seen a <laughs> man not a penny. Y'all always do me like that. Like, I ain't seen not a man I mean, not a penny. Like I done made twelve million dollars off you niggas. I made like twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> right, here, man. I'm I didn't still start. Red. I'm, st- I'm still I'm, in the red. Listen, matter of fact, I'm ta- look, look, I like didn't. TJ s- talking about uh, always talking about rich, rich. Man, I'm gonna pay you niggas out right yeah. now, man. You know, we have fun though. I tell you this: you're gonna pay a lot of money because you said the n word five times today that's already. You go, cut. That's my what man. happens when you drink my this man. fucking addictivo. I got a ten. I gotta get changed. I'll tell you off too. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Those experiences was worth more than money. I was just. That's what I was just about to say. I would have paid for those experiences. Yeah. Yeah. The experience was definitely uh, to and, be to and, be to be backstage freestyling back and forth with Kane from Yinging Twins just on some humbug. Yeah, yeah. The funny thing though was it was more about us. It was our crew. Yeah, absolutely, you know, it really yeah. wasn't about. And we were bigger than life. The other dudes, you know, to us. I'm whatever. saying to right. us. I'm it not trying to do like brag like crew. we're like right. so, no. To us, man, we were bigger than life. <laughs> not in, not in the egotistical way, right? But in a we all we were us and we had and us. We rocked yes. out. And we rocked, yeah, we rocked out that. for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. a there's a picture. Our first show. Remember Miller time? And everybody's in there. Yeah. Jalan is in Everybody. there. Chrissy's in yes. there. Uh, yeah. Bricks is in there. And, I, and, and I've caught it on Killer, Killer, Mo, Killer, yeah. Killer, 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 Antoine, I'm, Ham, Antoine. Anthony. Yeah, everybody. Everybody. You name it. I'm, I'm trying I, there's to. There's a McGee's. There was a million people on stage. I'm trying to get that as clear as I can get it because I also found in my basement Three copies oh, of yeah. uh, Chronicles of Money Rock. Yeah, oh, I'll show. fight you right the you fuck that. now. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. The original. No, you're just yeah. talking that shit because you're on the pod. No. The you're being dead serious. I'm dead serious. You know, this what is recording right on? now. Yes. I, matter you you have three copies of Chronicles? Player? Three copies, yes. Of, of the, the Chronicles. Chronicles. Do you know what that's I worth? About, I have about six, but one of the things is missing a paper. Another one, the CD is weird, scratched up. I have three. Brand new copies. The Chronicles. One for me, one for you, one for Ron. That's when you cut your teeth. You cut your teeth in the Chronicles. What's cutting teeth? That's where you really start. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like really, made my yeah. bones? That's where, yeah, that's, yeah, that's where you yeah. really. That, I'm about to say, because you know I had the from frames. Yeah. I, I had, I had, <laughs> I I had white gold teeth the, at one right. point. I remember the case you don't even remember joint. that. When, he, when yep. he literally printed his stuff on some Staples yep. type computer paper. Yep. yep. Yeah, bro. Yeah. With the bricks? Yeah. yeah. With the red yeah. bricks? With yep. the red bricks. Bro, yeah. that's wow. that's my shit. Are you kidding me? Come on, wow. man. Y'all be thick. Y'all y'all thought because I was young yeah. and y'all started and shit. I remember that. Like I wasn't paying attention, bro. You know how many times <laughs> I fucking went in that computer room of yours and put on the fucking that 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 C D with the red I don't even I know it was JLR and I and I remember it was red bricks. Yep. Like a yep. red brick building. Blue, blue graffiti JLR on there. You know yeah, absolutely. You know. And I'd put that I feel good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> young Younger people, it's a lot of younger people who are into that. Really, I mean, mm. and they they be like, "Man, I remember when y'all was." And I'd be like, "Bro, how you remember that? Right. How, how do you remember that? Oh man, you don't remember that song y'all did with a uh, JLR, and it was." I you know like, what though? Yeah, you're right, bro. We did. <laughs> you know what though, wrong? And Mondo killed that beat. Yep, man, Mondo killed a bunch of shit. I remember. I mean, I literally sat there. I remember explaining to him, "We want to kind of like this," yep. and then he was like. Okay, I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add this. When he, did when we he record in, that? Mon- did we record? No, I think we recorded at Kevin's. We recorded Mondo at Kevin's. Mondo laid the beat, but, but we Mondo, recorded it at Kevin's. But Mondo was there. When he we brought record, his keyboard. That's right. That's he right. plugged his keyboard that's into right. Kevin's board. That's yeah. right, yep. Shout out to right. Kevin, man. Kevin, Kevin, I always I always see Kevin posting that he's making music with uh, Melvin and I gotta, Melvin yeah, Tucker. Yeah, I got to get with stuff. him because I'm trying to find, you know, I had to redo my Facebook and I'm trying to get him back on my Facebook and my Instagram and all that. So I got to get with him. So I, I like Rome. Rome's probably talked to him more than all of us. That's right. Um, I, I talked, talked to him on social yeah, media. I like I always try to like tell ago. him what's up and Not shit like that. Ago. But yeah. Not yeah. long ago, yeah. He's, he, everything's still sweet, man. You know, he, you know, like, you, know, come, like, me, you know, doors always open. Right. That's our house. One, one thing that I, I, I think that some, some of these shit. younger cats don't understand what we're we, and, and what we're talking about right now, like the the backstage element, the camaraderie, the being in the studio, and the competitiveness. What happened between that and this new generation? I love the fact that everybody can just be creative. 
It became but too it, easy, though. But it came became too easy because yeah. you're not in the studio. You're yeah. not making that drive. You're not. It became um, too easy. Being yeah. competitive, you don't have the moments. Yeah. See, when they get older, they're gonna wish they had those moments. Yeah. They're gonna wish they had them times in a studio where yeah. things didn't go quite right. Yeah. Right. You, you know what I mean? Like those are the times that I that I really enjoyed is when things did not go perfectly smooth. Like I I act like I, I like the the way that uh, we run this came about. Is my favorite. That was dope, though. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah, my that, favorite that song. Yeah, that was, that was that my was that was. It was just organic. That was organic. It was yeah. written, you know made. I, everything about it was happened. That was like organic. literally, boom, 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 and then it was out. Yeah. What I what I love and hate is we had such a drive, and we go there and we record all day, and then we listen to it all the way over and over and over on the way home, and by the time. We got home. We were already talking about okay. We got to change this. We got to get back that, in the that, studio. Let's we didn't know. more time. Because we didn't to know. Me, but to me, that's why some of the joints like you guys did are classics to this day. True. Because we perfected it yes, we to did. a point. We recorded where, multiple times. Yeah, mm-hmm. where one song. We got all the little yeah. quirks out. Yep. You know what I mean? We would whether do that. it be wrong, well, man. Yep. I ain't, I ain't like my voice on this. Right. Yeah. These three bars. Yep. You know, You're right, and and we would go re-record. We, yeah, yeah. Re- so yeah, <laughs> my, and other things would come up, come out. Absolutely. From that. So yeah, that's dope. My favorite Rome moment is when we was doing, uh, we were doing a show lib track. We used to call them show libs. Yep. That's right. your ad libs because yeah. we we wouldn't rap over our whole that's song exactly like the was. corny dudes yep. do. We yep. would do, we would make tracks with just our ad libs in them, and we went to the studio to do that, and we remixed. Um, it was the one end of One More Step. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the, uh, even though what we, we changed do the is beat. wrong. We had One More Step done. Yeah. yeah. But remember, we changed the beat. We For changed the, the end beat. of it. For no. The end of it. The, the, because initially, I'm, I'm going to give you, the, you had One More Step done to a whole different beat. We love the song. I messed around and got a beat from Platinum, Platinum. that was yeah, supposed no, to go on right. a commercial. You're right. But then I played it and you start spitting over it. Yeah. And I was like, T. That's, that's it. that doom, that's the one. Doom, yeah. that's and then Kevin yep. put his funk yeah, on exactly. it. Exactly. I was like, yeah. that's it. So but I'm not talking about that. that. No, you re-recorded it over that beat. And then yes. at the end of it, oh, you that told was the same Kevin, recording yeah. session. That was the same yeah. session. You told yeah. Kevin, okay, for the end of for this last these we last did a bars, backspin. I want this. We did a backspin right. even right. to, uh, to uh, freeway, even though what we do yeah. is wrong. And I remember doing that verse. And I remember, because it was me, you, and Bricks in the studio. Mm-hmm. And you was like, hey, man, I got something for that. And I remember Bricks you going. Because he went in there I, and I, I was like, Bricks what? Going, and I remember Bricks going, hey, man. <laughs> Bro, I can't listen to Freeway song without spitting his verse. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't think I don't think I can neither. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, hey, and I remember Bricks like being like, kind of like, Hey, bro, like, you just going to, like, it's, it's his song. You're just going to, you can't just tell him that you're going to be on a song. I and I told him. Brick, no, no, and you went to go in the booth. Remember how I you had to walk him. around to the other room? And Brick goes, hey, man, is that cool? Like, he, I said, oh, it's real simple. Like, right. this is this you, is what you got to understand. Right. I remember you saying, yeah, if it ain't said, right, we ain't going to It's with real it. fucking simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Either it's great and it stays mm-hmm. or it's whack and it goes. I like, remember. But and you can't tell him not, you know, I was basically like, tr- you know, trying to tell Bricks, like, right. no, like, we're okay with this. Absolutely. This is called, like, this is the competitive part of it. Fucking class. Is, 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 and it was. Is, <laughs> I'll never deny, like, you never deny somebody the booth. Yeah. Yep. But it's real simple. Either it's good and it makes it or yep. it's not and yep. it doesn't make it. I remember it. that. Yeah. And nobody's offended. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? And once again, it's a fucking classic. Right. Right, <laughs> but when you went in, that's what happened. And you that's what there, happened. That's what started that my. Beat, that's what started me and I was pissing like, oh, blood. Oh, that's crazy! I was like, oh, I was and like, bro, that's, and that's how bro, I got I the gotta pissing get blood. That. Come on, my man. Yeah, he was like, go no, in there. No, and that shit. He was like, hit. go in there. Because like he was about about <laughs> four to six bars in, I was like, oh, this is staying. I already know, like, <laughs> right. because he's in his bag, right. and he and he was yeah. spitting it with emphasis. And I'm like, oh wow, that was good music. I did like making that. That's how. You know what? That is the reason why I had to piss blood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because that fucking shit was so fire. Was that's fire. the part of the verse yep. Yep. that I spit standing on the speakers yep. and I got, and I, got I was getting jabbed. When, People thought I was getting stabbed. Security was said, running. When you fucking said all that types Robbie of Joe shit. line. Oh. That's when it went crazy. And Robert Joe was when there. Shout out to Rico Hoy. When you said that Robbie Joe was, line. That was actually a Rico Hoy line. Rico Hoy, yeah. You know what I mean? Robert that's Joe, but Rico Hoy. That you was on the speaker. And the crazy you was on the thing, at that I was point. on the speaker. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's I tra- when it went man, crazy. Man, I told this story when I was speaking um, at uh, Woody's Hip Hop uh, Architect Camp to the kids. And, and 
they were about to make this music and shit. I told that story, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, of just about, because I was telling stories about all the elements of it, you know what I mean? And I was trying to kick, kick game to them that, hey, you don't have to be an artist. Like, you know, the producer gets paid for the artist. The mm -hmm. studio gets paid. For, you know, I was giving that whole speech. But then I was giving them the artist perspective of it. And I told that story. And, and it was, I mean, still to this day, I distinctly remember vividly. Mm -hmm. Everything's a blur. Mm -hmm. I black out when I'm on stage. What, that was the day I figured out, hey, you black out on your stage and it works, right? Mm -hmm. And I blacked out. You guys don't, if, if, performers know what I'm talking about when I say black out. Do, do you guys, you, you're a performer, you get it. Yeah. Yeah. You black out. Mm -hmm. I blacked out. And then all of a sudden, vividly, everything went in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> For real. For yeah, me, that's right. how it was. Yeah. I'm spitting and I'm not hearing myself. And I'm panning the crowd. And when that part came up, it literally, I, lo I remember looking at, I can see it in my head right now. I locked eyes with Robert Joe. Me and him talk about it in Arizona all the time. Uh -huh. I locked eyes with Robert Joe when I hit that Rico Hoy line. Mm -hmm. And I just so seen him erupt. Like mm -hmm. And it almost Boy. fucked up my thing because yeah. I, 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 then I went back to blackout and I finished yeah. it. Yeah. But it almost fucked up my blackout. Like my blackout is when, to me, when you're when you're blacking out, you're in the zone. There's nothing that can get you off your pivot. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's gonna come out. You're you're you are in a trance where it's already happening. Yep. No matter what you're thinking or what you're seeing or whatever, the shit's coming out flawlessly. And yep. I'm not saying that uh, trying to big myself. I'm saying every performer has probably went through this period where there's nothing that can knock them off their pivot mm -hmm. when they're in that mode mm -hmm. but for that split second of me paying the crowd and it just so happens that when i locked eyes with him it's when him i punched yeah. that fucking rico and i, yeah, and I pointed out, yeah. when it happened and to watch him <laughs> tell nitty yeah, yeah, you know what i mean they was awesome i watched them all it go resonated. oh yeah. shit like yeah. That was the dopest shit to be in the had world. Nobody heard that song yet. The nobody big cousins, had heard that. all the big homies. Right. Nobody, nobody had, had it, heard nobody that. Nobody heard. I literally made that, that two days before that. That was for that show. That was for remember? that show. Because we ended up changing that yeah. beat for yeah. that show. Two days prior. Yes, I remember that. that. Two days before, we was in the studio till like fucking mm -hmm. two in the morning, which Mike wasn't there because that's when we work. That's when we do our best work. Right, by right. the way, late night. It's late night. Mm -hmm. Even though you did all my sessions at fucking nine in the morning like a jackass. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, man, that 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 is a. When the OGs go yep. crazy, that's when you go. Yeah. Mm. Got him. That's when you hit it. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> right. I remember that. That's Man. It. Man. Hey, so enough about us. So anyway, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Wh who cares about what's going on in the world? Uh, I will say this though. Uh, if, uh, I don't know. I don't know how long we got because I know that we got some beef brisket waiting on us. We got but, some brisket. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, August thirteenth. Right, we're um, gonna be fucking with uh, Lloyd, Lloyd Cheetah. Lazy. Right, August thirteenth. August thirteenth. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, the, cheat, the cheat design experience, uh, Monroe Nutrition. Dope. What? There's something that we have going on that I wanted to mention, or that we don't have going on. Somebody had. Oh, that's what I wanted to mention. I need to sample that. Oh, right there. That was. Oh, you like that? Yeah. I yeah. Need to yeah, yeah, you got to pay me a lot of money, though, since you had a lot of money in your pocket, and I still haven't got paid for the Chronicles. Damn. But I don't forget shit. But uh, this Wednesday, right? So in a couple of days, oh, we're right. going to be up in the studio, man. We're sponsoring T-Rup oh, on this yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat yeah. My Treats. Right. My treats. Eat My Treats. They're, right. they're doing a, 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 a box challenge. They're doing a eating contest. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be crazy. Uh, Kenny Urban's, he's, he finally put out a video. Talking shit. Oh, him man, and, him and the fucking goose. Oh, shit. Bro, oh, oh, shit. What am I talking about? Speaking of him, so the next day after, so we got Wednesday and then Thursday, IWR. Yes, so he's going to yeah, be wrestling right. at IWR. I might jump in the ring. <laughs> Depending on how Wednesday goes in his eating contest, I might jump in the ring and take that goose down. I might not be able to take Kenny Urban down. <laughs> Pinky's up, muchachos. Down? Shout out to Kenny, man. Pinky up, muchachos. I, I got you, but Wednesday, you're fucking going down in the studio. And Thursday, the goose might go down. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll be there. Shout out to Gary, man. Just talking yeah, to Gary mm -hmm. today. Great dude. Be there. IWR going down Thursday. That's what I wanted. That's what I almost okay. forgot about, man. We've been drinking this good fucking tequila man. and 8 Mile and 8 Mile man. and 8 Mile. But this fucking tequila's got me. No, I, Mikey I said it was okay if we, if we venture off here and there. But yeah, I know 8 Mile happens. don't make tequila yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. If 8 Mile makes tequila, I'm running. Could be dope. For president. <laughs> Yeah, what else is going? That's 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 the big joint. That's this week. coming up this Let's week, go. man. There's a, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, you know, Spooky's got um, uh, 
August 14th. Spooky's got the skate party going skate on. Party. Skating party, yeah. You know, yep, yep, yep. Uh, spooky, spooky, spooky films. Spooky, spooky. There's, there's other stuff going on. Man, there's so oh, much going on. I feel like every oh, week there's, there's something, something going there's on. There's never things going on in Monroe. No, oh, never. Oh, to do never. There's nothing to do here. Nothing to do. It's yeah. a damn shame we got so much shit going on. We can't remember it all. But we'll have another podcast next week and we'll yeah, talk about some more shit. Hey, next Friday, <laughs> uh, I think I'm heading up to Auburn Hills. I'm going to catch me a little jelly roll. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's right. coming to Auburn Hills oh, dope. next Friday. Mm-hmm. Actually, this Friday. Mm-hmm. I saw that mm-hmm. posted. Dope. Son of a sinner. Man, I was playing that joint the other day, bro, and I was like, man, man I remember I remember being there. Yeah. That's real shit. Rome, what you got coming up, man? You got an album man, dropping or I'm what, bro? I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling, man. Because you almost hit the stage. I see the twinkling in your eye at planting seeds. You almost <laughs> hit the fucking stage. Did you not see that? <laughs> Woody was listen, like, hey, man, you going up? Remember when we were sitting there? Woody's like, hey, man, you going up? And for a second, he thought about and it. And listen, I... When Ro- I didn't think Rome that. was there, you was there. All y'all <laughs> no, was, y'all was, was I, see you, I can't remember who y'all was talking with, but y'all was all talking in a little group together. Uh-huh. And I, I, I pulled up a couple <laughs> songs, and I'm listening to them. I'm like, oh, man, I can't play that. It's too many kids. So I go to another one. I listen. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I can't play that. Too many kids. <laughs> and I'm like, damn. I ain't, well, I ain't got no clean versions of this shit. <laughs> right. Right. But, yeah, I, I, he, he might have jumped right. on hey, stage hey, for re- that. Hey, before. remix the clean version? Man, listen. Hey, the, the, the after in Rome? That ain't gonna happen, bro. But you're not gonna, you're, you no, can't. I'm gonna promote these young boys, though. You, okay, so okay, so after, I, I, I believe it's seven years, okay, you can re um, record all of your music. You can't, you, you can't, you oh, don't get your master's okay. after seven years. Don't get it twisted. I'm but, still nice. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> no, 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 what I'm saying is, is this is how masters work. You can't take your masters and just have, but you can re-record word for word, same beats, everything, re-record all your shit and have those as your masters legally. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you got worked out. Right. We'll never say never. I don't know, But man. you Let's can, re- do, you're way past right that. Here. You can re-record, oh, that, oh, that too. Let's like that's, right that's way past I'll, seven I'll, years. I'll say, I'll say I, it on the bro, record. I don't even know what I got. I, I don't I'll know. So bro, you I'll can say, re-record I'll everything. Say, I'll say and on, you can do clean versions. You can do the R.O. versions. I want to say this on the record. Rome, what's happening? TJ, <laughs> you can have your masters. <laughs> I don't need them. Right. I got them all. I have mine. <laughs> right, right. I got Kevin, them all. Kevin, uh, can Kevin you give, these, can you give these fellas the ADAT? Right. <laughs> I already took mine. <laughs> you can have A the long ADATs. time ago. Yeah. yeah. We got a um, real talk, though. What we need to do is, I mean, y'all already on it. Lightweight. Get on this this TikTok wave, bro. I, I was sleep, I was sleep on it. I thought TikTok was like we have a, a TikTok now. Yeah, I know. That's why I said yeah. you already own it. At Beyond the Tracks be, podcast, yeah, you be people. posting it. Yeah, that's the At wave. At Beyond the Tracks that's podcast, that's the wave right there. I'm just I'm just now figuring it out. The TikTok wave, right? I only have like two videos. I ain't filtered out yet. <laughs> I ain't figured it out yet. Actually, the first video I put up was me, uh, yeah, you, I know. Mikey I'll Beaker, be and Tyner. At uh, Shit Gets Deep Podcast. Yeah. Oh, that's I was going to shout them out too, man. Our homie Mikey Shoemaker was just on um, Shit Gets Deep Podcast. So go, yes, he was. go yeah, check yeah. out uh, Shit Gets Deep Podcast on YouTube. Mikey was just up there, man, chopping yeah. up with them. So How come, what's your man's name? And I, I, you know, Forgive me for not knowing his name off the top of my head. But I see him all the time. He got a beard and he works with me. And I didn't even realize we worked together. And it's your man. Uh, y'all went to see, uh, who you go to see... Uh, Trick Trick with who you go to Trick Trick birthday party? Oh, Jake, yeah, oh, homie. yeah. I didn't know he worked with me. He worked with me. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, that yes, we be sitting in together. office all day. How does we, he work? He don't we work. We work together. Every I time up, I see I him, him one day he's the TikToker of TikTokers, look, yes, bro. I seen him at work. This motherfucker like, TikTok all day, not doing nothing. Look, I'm like, <laughs> damn. Hey, wait a minute, you TJ's man? He's like, yeah. Well, you know what's happening. You know, so I look at his like he TikToking like him up. Yeah, that's my guy, man. Yeah, gotta, yeah. I got to get with Jake. I got a job for him. Over, good dude. Over at the really spot, good dude. So. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, he, he tried to he tried to fuck us over a couple weeks ago, though. <laughs> Real he good tried. Man. I'll let Mikey tell the story. Mikey wants to come on here to tell his own story. He doesn't okay. want me to tell it because they, 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 they got me. They got me. But Jake, <laughs> I'll tell the Jake story. This motherfucker tried to get me. And he, he didn't know he was fucking with a pro. Mm-hmm. So we, you know, we're, we're trying to celebrate my birthday and Mikey's birthday. I started off with a round of eight mile shots. The next shot that comes over, it looks like an eight mile shot. Boom, I go to shoot it, 
and I spit it right back in the shot glass. He thought he was going to get me. <laughs> it was fucking tequila. And mm. I, don't fuck, I don't mix. You right, know what I mean? Right. And, uh, and Mikey took his. And that it was it, it, the night went down from there. That's all I say. <laughs> the night got a little bit crooked from there yeah. on out. I bet. I mean, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was sideways. But Jake is a really good dude. Yeah. That was the first time he's ever done, done some fuck shit. <laughs> and I had explained to him, you don't do fuck shit to a real motherfucker because I don't play that mixing liquor shits. I'm a professional alcoholic. <laughs> he's a pro. I'm a professional drunk. My man. Oh man, All let's right, get let's go, go get some beef brisket. You guys want to yeah, go get some man. beef? beef let's go. Beef, beef, yeah. beef. You know, I just got a text that and said I got a pee too. Jamie and Richard said, <laughs> "Bring the guys now when y'all leave." Let's, let's get like it. like I mentioned brisket. You think they wasn't coming? So oh, bro, yeah, I'm coming. So man, let's go ahead and wrap it up, man. Yeah, man. It's gonna be a great week. It's gonna be a great week, man. Uh, let's just wrap it up. Time. Let's not even do nothing crazy. Let's. How about this? It's your boy TJ the Mayor. It's your man DJ Big Mike. It's your boy Ira. This is another episode of the Beyond the Tracks podcast. Catch us every Monday. Uh, episodes coming out at midnight on Monday morning. So catch us Monday, and you can listen to us throughout the whole week. So I'll see y'all then. Out. Peace. Peace. Peace.